This is about inverse functions. So let's do this example. Let f of x be equal x cubed minus 2. So first question is, does f have an inverse function and why? So we need to know that a function has an inverse function if, if it is 1 to 1. So we need to check if f of x equal x cubed minus 2 is a 1 to 1. The easiest way is to graph it. So to graph f of x cube, I mean f of x equal x cube minus 2, the easiest way to graph it is this is this is y equal or f of x equal y equal x cube and we need to shift it two units down. So this is So this is f of x, or f, right? Now, is it a one-to-one? -one? Yes. Why? Because it passes the horizontal line test. Every time we do a horizontal line, it's going to cross it into no more than one point. So how, do, how would we say this? We're going to say f is one-to-one -one function because it passes the horizontal line test. Therefore, the inverse function exists. Now for question two, they ask us if it does find its inverse. Since we know it exists, we just need to find it. So how do we find it? First, let's write the function f of x equal x cubed minus 2. So we usually replace f of x by y. So this is y equal x cubed minus 2. And then we swap x and y. So x is equal y cubed minus 2. And then we solve for y. So let's rewrite it this way. Now we need to solve for y. So we add 2 to both sides. So y cubed equal x plus 2. How do I, find, how do I solve for y? I'm going to cube root both of them both sides. Now this is y and this is cube root of x plus 2. Now I'm going to call this the inverse of f and this is my inverse function.